We have been saying that logistic regression is a simple model, but it is nice because it is interpretable. Why do we actually care about interpretability? Now, we don't always care about model interpretability. For example, suppose you are building a speech recognition system for a voice assistant. In that case, you want your system to give the best performance. What you care about is that your voice assistant understands and recognizes what you are saying. And probably you don't care much about how it's making those predictions. That said, the ability to interpret machine learning models is crucial in many applications such as banking, healthcare, and criminal justice. It can be leveraged by domain experts to diagnose systematic errors and underlying biases of complex machine learning systems. In this picture, I'm showing you this person, John, who is a bank customer. He applies for a loan and the, his application is passed to this black box machine learning model. Now the model says that the chance that John will have repayment problems is 55%. And so, model's suggestion is to reject the loan. Now, in this scenario, there is this bank manager and there is this customer. And both of them want to know the reason for this prediction. If it's a good manager, then probably they want to know whether this prediction was made because of certain systematic errors or biases in the model. And if that's the case, probably you don't want to take model suggestion. The customer also wants to know why the loan was rejected. So the point is that model interpretability can be very, very useful and crucial in many applications. Now, there are many aspects to model interpretability. In this particular course, our definition of model interpretability is in terms of feature importances. And if you are interested, there is this whole book written on interpretable machine learning models. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use the data set that we used in the last lecture, the Agile Census data set. So this is our data set. I'm defining numeric, ordinal, binary, categorical features. And these are our categories for our ordinal feature. These are our transformers. And this is our preprocessor with all transformations. Okay, so these are all things we did last time. Now I'm creating X train, Y train. And these are the questions we already answered last time. I'm using accuracy as our scoring metric, and I'm using these four models for this demonstration. Logistic regression, random forest, XGBoost, and light GBM. This is our dummy classifier. And these are our results for our four models and dummy classifier. What do we see here? We see that XGBoost and LightGBM, they are giving us the best validation scores. Now, in this particular case, logistic regression scores are not that bad, but we are still getting better results with XGBoost and LightGBM compared to logistic regression. Okay, so the problem in general is that often simple models are interpretable, but they are not that accurate. And more complex models like LightGBM or XGBoost in our case, they are less interpretable, but they are more accurate. So usually complex models are more accurate but less interpretable and simple models are more interpretable but less accurate. 
Let's look at feature importances in linear models. We already have seen this before. So I'm creating logistic regression pipeline here. I'm fitting my pipeline. And as usual, I'm taking feature names for one hot encoded features. And this is a list of all my features, numeric features, ordinal features, binary features, and one hot encoded features. And these are the first 10 features from our list of feature names. Let's look at the coefficients. So these are our top features. And what do we see here? We see that increasing capital gain is likely to push the prediction towards greater than 50K. And this occupation of private house service, for instance, is likely to push the prediction towards less than or equal to 50K income. So with logistic regression, we get these coefficients. Coefficients have signs and the signs tell us in what direction it's going to affect the prediction, in what direction the feature is going to affect the prediction. Can we get feature importances for nonlinear models? We saw that models such as LightGBM or XGBoost or Random Forest, they give us better scores than logistic regression, for instance. So can we actually get feature importances from these more accurate models? In the next video, we will talk about this.